Well, there's left tool finishing up the old scalp. Took it down low and I think he may have, that may be his second time. We took it down there and he scalped the whole thing and then this is the second time over it because it's been about a week, I think. And now we're ready for that stuff. Here we go. So while left tool's finishing up the old uh, scalp, I'm gonna sit here in the shade and wait for the impending doom that is sand leveling. Uh, I talked about it before, but one ton of sand is not exactly equal to one yard. We'll have to ask him how much he ordered. Usually we do this on a weekend, so we'd have a whole day to knock it out in one fell swoop, but we don't always have the luxury of, uh, of time. So after work it is, today, tomorrow, maybe the next day, because we're getting ready to leave. We're going to Florida. Oh, you weren't filming anything, were you? Yes? How much sand did you get? Uh, I got, I just told them to get me as much as they'd give me. What? I said bring a whole truckload. A dump truck? Yeah. That's 18 tons? Well, I don't know, it's however much. I said, give me as much as you'll bring me. <laughs> what are you gonna do with the rest of it? What do you mean, what am I gonna do with the rest of it? I'm gonna put it on my lawn. That, do I have too much? <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess we'll find out. You, you definitely do. Oh. Well, what, well. How big is your yard? 6,000 square feet? You got a whole tr You got a whole dump truck full. <laughs> what am I gonna do with my sand? Stay tuned and find out, I guess because I didn't know that I was supposed to order a certain amount. I thought, just order as much sand as they'd give me. Did you not watch our last video? I had already ordered this stuff. No, you hadn't. I'm pretty sure. You were there when we made the video, when we were talking about all the questions that we get asked. I don't asked. remember and anything And one of the questions saying... was, how much sand should I order? And I said, about a yard per thousand square feet. Okay, and how many yards did I get? Like, 12. Okay. So I've got too much sand. Could be just worse problems to be had. <laughs> or worse, worse problems like your wife we'll being put it on really, your yard. really mad at you when you have a pile of sand left in your no, driveway we'll go, after your sand leveling project. We're gonna go put it on Right Tools yard. <laughs> oh shoot. So this is when the neighbors really figure out that there's uh, something wrong in your head, is when they see something like this and then when they see your entire yard covered in it. They know you're crazy at that point. First step, grab some neft tools and sling some sand. What do you think, left tool? That thing worked pretty well for doing some sand leveling? Yeah. 
I think it works pretty well because you, it's zero turn. You can just turn in one spot and just spin. Instead of the four-wheeler having to make wide turns, especially for a smaller yard, I thought that was a game changer. That helped a ton. Has helped. I guess we're not done yet, so it's still helping. Whoa, is that a Segway? Oh, it's not a Segway? Well, this is a Segway. A terrible segue into the part of the video where I show you the results of Left Tool Sand Leveling Project. <laughs> so it's looking pretty nice. That Tahoma 31 is some sweet stuff. But yeah, as you probably figured out, uh, it's been like a month since we did that sand leveling project. The, the lawn has completely recovered. We did the sand leveling project, we went to Florida. Uh, I think it rained like the day that we left and then the Neff tools were watering Aaron's lawn. I don't know how often they did that, but they watered it a bit. Even when we got back like five days later, six days later, it was already looking pretty sweet. He has since scalped it a little bit because he grew up a little bit tall. He's been using the Super Recycler. Uh, well, he was using the Super Recycler and just recently switched over to the Greens Master. Uh, I'm over here actually I need to do a little bit of fine tuning on that. He said it's not cutting through these seed heads very well, so I'm gonna try to do some fine tuning on that. And uh, anyway, like I said, it's looking pretty good. Which this is kind of cool. All of those spots where we left gaps in the sod, we put sand in there, of course, and those are all gone. All those gaps in the sod. So there's that. I was gonna try to get him to do a full like step by step show you the results of it and take pictures along the way as the you know everything recovered but again we were gone it's been crazy busy blah 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 excuses 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 but here we are um and that kind of does it for this project in this video so thanks for watching everyone and uh we'll catch you on the flip side